We heard you. Go to the corner, have your transphobic thoughts, and stop putting them out in the world. It's weird. It's like Billy Crystal with baseball. Like, we love you. Just shut up about it. (laughs) 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 This week, President Biden doubled down on abortion rights as the focus of his presidential campaign, releasing a new ad declaring Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. Here to tell us which side of this very important issue they stand on, it's Brendan Scannell and Kara Clank. Hello. Come on out. Hi. It's good to see you both. Hi. Good to see you. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this whole thing for me. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys didn't like that? Great. What's up? <laughs> good to see you both. Yeah, you too. We haven't been on in a while. Yeah. And here you are. It's been a minute. We're back. Uh, let's start by getting your thoughts on this Biden ad. For 54 years, they were trying to get... Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. In 2016, Donald Trump ran to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, in 2024, he's running to pass a national ban on a woman's right to choose. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. I like it. My first reaction, I think Biden looks hot. He's, <laughs> when he's fully fucking spackled, when he's just like, when he's just like, when he's got the, f- the haircut is good. Yeah. He's got whatever. Wig tape. Whatever is going on. Yes. Whatever yeah. they're doing, whatever kind of, you know, share treatment, whatever they're shooting him <laughs> through, whatever's happening. <laughs> like when he's looking good, he looks good. Like the post state of the union, when he did that tour and he was, he was just like on it. I like yeah. that. I yeah. like that. I feel good yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, like just like an insure with a little bit of coke. I yeah, think. yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like a TikTok of one of the people being like, "And this is what this is fillers. This is the jaw reduction." Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Somebody yeah. circling it uh-huh. and showing you. Exactly. And Joe Biden's like, yeah. "It's just guajong. It's just guajong." <laughs> <laughs> Kara, do you trust women? Oh yeah. Uh, who's the woman you don't trust? Um, who's a woman I don't trust? I mean, there's plenty. I can't. I mean, like, I, I, I like, uh, like a personal friend of mine that you wouldn't know, and no one would have any idea who I'm talking about. I think that's probably not in your best interest. I was right. saying like a, a public yeah, figure. Yeah, like a public figure. Yeah, I, would oh. start, I mean, if you want to say like I don't trust oh. Jessica, she's a oh, yeah, fucking like, cunt. But like, no, I don't yeah, think that's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. the right direction. A woman I don't trust. Who do I think is a slippery little snake? I mean, well, we were just talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene backstage. Right. Like, we what don't an trust absolute, her. What an abject psychopath. Um, but I don't know. Oh man. What? Susan Collins from downtown. Susan Collins. Susan Collins, another Catch, political you know person. Yes. Catching strays, as they say. Mm. Oh, that Tulsi Gabbard lady? What's yeah. her, what's she's never understand what's yeah. going on with her eyes. I don't know what's going on up what's there. What's going yeah. on behind the eyes? Mm. And and you said you trust women, but not all women. Uh, I don't <laughs> trust Omarosa. I just watched House oh, of wow. Villains. I don't okay. know if anyone's watched. Omarosa shows up on this reality TV show called House of Villains. And she really is so just pleasureless. She takes all of the fun out of the reality show. And and so I, I just don't get why we keep giving her reality TV show opportunities as well as job opportunities. Yeah. yeah. There's something I haven't watched House of Villains, but fun, there's a problem, which is a true villain, like the best villains don't believe they're villains. Like they, they have to, that's what yeah. makes them, mm. that's like, like on reality shows, like the, the most fun villains to watch are the ones who believe they're narrating a hero's journey. Oh yeah. But have lost their goddamn minds. Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. That's television. Yes. That's television to me. I'll throw Bethany Frankel out there as well. Mm. Wouldn't trust her. <laughs> Someone say aw? There's like an epidemic in New York right now of some of a man that's going around punching women mm-hmm. in the face. I don't know if everybody's heard about that. Mm. And immediately Bethany was like, That happened to me too. There's no if that happened to you, bitch, the TikTok would have been open before your head could even snap back. <laughs> There's no video. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. I don't believe women in this one specific case. I don't believe she was punched. <laughs> Every woman has like a black eye. Bethany's like, happened to me too. Anyway, like there, there's no proof. There's no proof. I don't believe it. We don't believe it. <laughs> I do believe women, but not her. Go on. Well, and that's a perfect segue into yeah. a game we're calling, Would You Trust This Woman? <laughs> Here's how it works. I'm going to read you a quote from a woman in this week's news. You tell me if you trust this woman or not, uh, and then you'll find out who it is. Okay. Let's do it. 
First up, here's the quote. We wouldn't want to encourage people to swim in the river willy-nilly because you want to make sure you're safe. It demonstrates that the river is a place where people can recreate safely. Do you trust that woman? As somebody who is anti-river swimming, she seems like she's trying to get people into the river. Um, and uh, so I know I don't trust her. I mean, this feels like a trap because I feel like I trust her. She's literally just saying, let's all be careful in this river, right? <laughs> That's basically the crux of the quote. So I want to trust her, but I know you're going to be like, it's Hitler's wife or something. Yes, that was obviously a famous quote from a woman in the, the news Braun. this week, Ava Braun. Oh, it's in the news this week. It's in the news this week. But you know, I was just, well, no, no. I know it's not. But yeah, um, okay. I want to say trust. I'll just go counterpoint, you know? Carrie got it. Because it's Margaret Frisbee of Friends of the Chicago River about the Chicago River opening up for a swim event for the first time in 100 years. Margaret yeah. who? And, and Margaret just, Frisbee. She's just a woman named Margaret Fris Frisbee. It's a great name. Okay, next up. The only thing necessary for evil to triumph in the world is that good men do nothing. Do you trust the woman who said that? That, that was said in the news this week, but that's an old quote. For sure. Okay. It sounds like it's from Independence Day. If I'm <laughs> no, being that sounds like a, a woman that's like, that's why the kids should have guns so they can shoot the shooters. You know, like I think that I don't trust. Uh, I'm going to say trust because it's one of my favorite flicks. <laughs> Kara's two for two. Ah! Brendan O for two. That was Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, uh, I know that bitch when I, when I hear her. <laughs> <laughs> the next part of the quote is Speaker Johnson completely surrendered all power we had in the House to stop horrendous crimes like child rape by illegals when he, when he fully funded Biden's deadly open border without a fight. Like, what is she? She ever really is just like clown about? town. Like, I feel like the clue that that was going to be bad is the gendered version of the quote. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you wouldn't say you would say people at this point. But the but that's the real quote, isn't it? With it, men it feels it? like the real quote in the same sense that like Benjamin Franklin said, "Live, laugh, love." Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or that Abraham Lincoln said, "Like, dance, like nobody's right, watching." Right, right, right. <laughs> sure. You know, it's like on a something called goody quotes, and it's all, every other quote is it's like Gandhi, Einstein, Lincoln. Yeah, Gandhi, yeah, yeah. Einstein, Lincoln. <laughs> Gandhi, when you're here, you're family. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next quote: You can do anything you want. Your Joker. <laughs> oh. Is that like Lady Gaga from the new Joker movie? I'm yeah, going to say that, no. Yeah, I'm that's trusting right. her. Yeah. I trust her. I trust her <laughs> with my... Implicitly. I would get run over by a speedboat for Lady Gaga. Uh, so I trust her. Is she playing um, just like the Joker's girlfriend or is she Harley Quinn? Keep in mind, I don't know anything about she any must of be these Harley kinds Quinn. of movies. She's Harley Quinn, right? Is she Harley Quinn? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, she's Harley Quinn. Got um, it, got here, it. Here's a clip. You can do anything you want. I am nah. so in on this movie. <laughs> I, that first movie was such an unholy text. I'm like so in on seeing another. I didn't see the first one and I um, will be seeing this one without having seen the first one. That hurts a little uh, yeah. bit. That hurts me a little bit <laughs> because it's so bad. You need to go into this having seen what a, what a, what a wild, terrible, yeah, Con I really struggle to watch men want to do stand up comedy. It's yeah, like, yeah, that's what's tough it's like too. my version when you're like, I hate needles. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I didn't watch it, I cooked in my kitchen while my husband watched it, and I just went, What? Like, I just kept going, Ugh, what are you watching? So I feel like I've seen it, but my, my one, <laughs> of, my only defense of it is that, like, there's so many, there's so much of our, there's so much, I, there's one way people respond to the fact that anything you do, it used to be you could put something into the world and you might hear a review or get a little bit of a taste of what people think about it in person. But now when you put something into the world, you hear every version of every opinion that anyone could ever have had about it. And so much of the response is to like kind of preempt any criticism by creating ironic distance of some kind in the work itself. That's in op-eds, but it's also in movies. It's like the kind of jokey tone of Marvel movies. It's like a, a little bit like, we're just having fun here. We know this is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Joker takes itself so fucking seriously. It is like, it is whatever, it, it feels like it was made by people who had the energy of 
of someone defusing a bomb. Like if we don't get this exactly right, if we don't get the dance sequence of yeah. of of this Joker dancing down the stairs just so a school blows up. Right. That's the precision of this godforsaken film. That, that sounds they, great. I that know. sounds like I would like that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they took it so seriously. Well, they but cast what, somebody in it in the second one, Lady Gaga, famously Obviously, I've already said I would die for her. No sense of humor or irony. But that's my. But and that's <laughs> and why it's going to be very a blast. seriously. When she was in that Gucci movie, she spoke in an Italian accent in her real life for three months. Yeah, <laughs> I think about that sex scene every day. He thinks about it every day. Oh, wow. Now imagine the sex scene that clearly will be in this film. <laughs> that is in- inconceivable that we won't be getting an extremely dramatic and serious and artistic sex scene. And you're not going to have seen the first movie? You're not going to understand why they're having sex? I was, at House, <laughs> I was at House of Gucci opening night, okay? You it were? was me and all gay men, okay? <laughs> so yes, I will be at this opening night. Uh, there are people who say, doesn't this bitch have more than one pair of pants? I have had these pants for 40 years. Do you trust this woman? Me? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. That's yeah. it's Cher accepting her <laughs> yes. icon award at the iHeart Music Awards on Monday. Cher said of her ancient pants, "I thought we should come here and accept this award together." She's like, "These pants are Bob Mackie." Yeah. Someone I saw Cher that. in concert. I liked it. I liked it. They're Bob Mackie. Everything she wears is Bob Mackie, I think. She I saw her in concert and she started so many stories where you were like, yeah. She's like, well, did I tell you guys about the time I almost didn't get cast in Witches of Eastwick? And then she would do a circular thing, never come back to it. She would just literally <laughs> drift off to another story. It's four stories. I, want. I just was like, literally, I tweeted her and I go, can you finish what you said in Vegas last night about <laughs> Witches of Eastwick? Because I wanted to know. Miley Cyrus, these covers are incredible. And there's an mm-hmm. album of covers. They're live. They're amazing. But they include in the covers the kind of interstitial conversation she had with the crowd. And I've never heard somebody more passionately say absolutely nothing for like 60 to 90 seconds <laughs> about like the meaning of these songs. It is excruciating. <laughs> oh, wow. I got to listen. Sounds like a good use of my time. I'm currently out of the country, but if what I've written here qualifies as an offense under the terms of the new act, I look forward to being arrested when I return to the birthplace of the Scottish Enlightenment. Do you trust this woman? No, I know who this is. And I, I do not trust her. I kind of blacked out halfway through that quote, um, but I'm going to go no to. Yeah, it's J.K. Rowling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On an unhinged diatribe on Twitter against, obviously, trans people, the Harry Potter writer responded to Scotland's new hate crime and public order act, which criminalizes stirring up hatred based on race, sexuality, gender identity, religion, and disability by posting photos of trans women and railing against their inclusion in society. She was not arrested. Just get a grip. Why is she get such a, a dog with a bone with this thing? It's crazy. I don't get why she won't just go. We heard you. Go to the corner. Have your transphobic thoughts and stop putting them out in the world. It's weird. It's like Billy Crystal with baseball. Like, we love you. Just <laughs> shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> the Billy Crystal, when Billy Crystal was doing his one-man show about baseball... <laughs> which I have seen. Uh, That's real? It, yes. <laughs> Billy Crystal did a one-man show about baseball and about being Jewish and baseball. And when I say this thing was like, you know, in the movie uh, Contact, they're beaming something all around the galaxy to reach. That musical was a beeping fucking klaxon to reach Jewish older men. <laughs> And get them to text any Jewish younger man in their family tree. You must go see this before it closes. This is a masterpiece. If I'm buying 17 tickets right now, all the cousins are going. It's Billy Crystal. It's Judaism. It's baseball. I will kill myself if my whole family doesn't go to this. They were probably sending that text from in the theater. They're in the theater. Because no one at that show is turning their ringer off. Billy Crystal is on stage going like this. (laughs) Thank you, Karen Brendan. Thank (laughs) you. It was a pleasure. That was fun. Bye, guys. 